Let's have a look at setting a product image up for a release product. So I'm in product information management, uh, release products, and this is my item. Now, if I look at the details on the item, um, what I can do is go up to document handling, for example, and obviously I can attach files there. But for product images, um, they will get stored here, but we need to set them up through the product image. So if I open up the fast uh, fact box here, then you'll see the ability to change the product image. So I'm going to hit change on product image and you'll see you have the new button here. So I'm going to hit new and then browse for the image. So in this case I've just got a Surface Pro and I'll put uh, two images in there for example. So that's my two images. You'll see that this one is the default image, for example. So we'll say OK. Now, if I go back up to document handling, you'll see that these images are actually in there. But if I create a new image from here, and you'll see that they're marked as image. Um, so let's put in an image. I'm going to hit browse and let's do our Surface Pro 3 um, and you'll see that's in this image as well so that means I've got three in document handling um, but if I come back to the change product image I've only got two so just be conscious of that that this form is set up to do the product images. Um, now if you are working from a more technical perspective um, the table at the back end is where the product images are linked to is a table called uh, EcoRes product image and you'll see that this has a relationship to the document handling table based on uh, the record ID of the inventory table so you'll see this in the database for example if I do a search for my item, in this case this was my X402 item, this is the item ID and the record ID on this one is ending in 522. So if I use the record ID and filter my EcoRes uh, product image ta uh, table by that number, then when I execute it, let me select the whole query if I execute it then you'll see that I get two rows here because I've got two images. Um, so that's technically where the image link is made in this table here, EcoRes product image. So that's a quick walk through setting up a product image. You might just want to be aware of that and the connection to document handling even though the, the images are stored in there and so you want to use the capabilities of document handling to um, you know store the images um, where they need to be stored so you can manage your storage uh, appropriately for example um, and from a technical perspective if you're importing then you'll need to create the link in the EcoRes uh, product image table so that's a quick walkthrough setting up the product image in this case a simple product image on